Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Devotion. Now, before we jump back into this game, I gotta say something. Every time after I record, I edit my videos, obviously, and I have to watch the whole video from start to finish. I was watching my whole playthrough again as I was editing this, and I realized that the story is really good, and maybe I should pay attention rather than expect the jump scares and all that stuff to happen. So I'm just gonna be paying more attention to the words and not try to, you know, like, crack jokes on everything that I see because so far, the story is actually really good. So we are gonna try to immerse ourselves in this episode if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go and i'm lying guys me stop cracking jokes you got me fucked up i'm gonna stay cracking jokes like i'm definitely not gonna try to expect jump scares to happen because right now i've been clenching my butt cheeks but i'm just gonna try to pretend like i'm in the 80s right now you know okay yeah i'm pretty sure that didn't happen in the 80s what does this mean Collect the fragments of the past, traverse into a flawless present. What the hell you mean? Okay, somebody behind me. Hold on. You better not be behind me. Okay, nobody's behind me. Um, something used to fit here, but I can't remember what. Your mom's ass. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, great. One, two, three doors. Yeah. Let's go with this one first. Just because this is the one that opened up first. Maybe I do go in order, though. We got a lantern over here. I don't know what that means. Can we click on it? No? Okay. Do we need a key? No key. What happened? Oh, I never got a loading screen in this game so far, so I was confused. Usually, it's, like, really smooth. But right now, it's rougher than my asshole. Wait, what? Okay. Let's pay attention, guys. There's some question marks over here. Uh, a shame this shot didn't come out well. Wish I could have retaken it. Blurred photo, nothing can be made out. I see like a hand playing one note on the piano. Maybe that's what I gotta do? What about this? Single lens camera. A swanky 20-year-old classic model. Okay, I'll take that. What about this television? Can I turn this off? Is that supposed to be Mei Shin? A lot of you guys in the comments were roasting me because I kept calling her Mai Shin Wang or whatever the fuck her name is. And it's supposed to be Mei. M-E-I means Mei. Oh no. Not the TV stuttering. <gasps> oh crap. Okay. Let's click on this. Tale of Sigu Guanyin Ascendance. The farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine as directed by the serpent. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time, Sigu Guanyin descended upon the countryside. Sigu Guanyin had sensed the spirit serpent's virtuous deed. Though it was a mere beast, Sigu Guanyin was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice and so bestowed upon the serpent the title of guardian. Henceforth, whenever Sigu Guanyin helped the denizens of the world, the striped spirit serpent always followed close behind. Sigu Guanyin Legend 17. The story is recorded in the Sigu Legends chapter of the Sigu Sutras. Many believers have professed to seeing a figure of a snake accompanying all appearances by Sigu Guanyin. Okay, I don't know what Sigu Sutras are. But I know what Kama Sutra is, and uh, you guys might be too young to know what that is. But yeah, Kama 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 Kama, what the heck is this? Yo. Hold up. I have never seen something like this before. It's like rope with a cauldron hanging on top? What you mean, though? Do I gotta get a knife food, like, cut this down? I think I do. Okay, hold up, guys. Oh, man. Dude. I don't like it when, like, old TV shit starts playing. Why can't I look at this again? A shame that the shot didn't come out well. Okay. That's a little girl playing one note on the piano. Maybe I gotta play that note. Maybe we gotta hold that tune. Maybe we gotta hold that beat. Okay, let's go in here. Let's see what we got over here. I love the graphics in this game. Very smooth. My dream. Do Mei Shin. Yeah, there you go. Do Mei Shin. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. When she sings, I sing along and daddy and mommy say I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day. So I go to singing class every week. I often participate in singing competitions. My father say as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear me sing. I also want to go out and play with my parents. They are always so busy every day. When I grow up, I will take them out for fun all the time. Okay. Uh, that's about it. What? Oh, crap. That was making my heart jump. I didn't even know we were about to go into a cutscene. 
，洗一洗应该能穿吧。赖导他答应了，他说现在还来得及加个角色。什么意思？啊，不是说过了吗？房租水电都快没着落，要想办法呀。这样家里怎么办？小孩不顾了吗？你怎么那么自私啊？不是嘛，家里不会怎么样啊，家里我还是会顾啊。Calm self. Okay, let's calm ourselves. So we're playing as Du Mei Shin. Interesting. I've never seen that method used before. Clicking the marbles like that. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm yourself. There we go. We needed to get rid of that completely. 可是你是有什么好生气的、啊？我就只是想帮忙而已、啊。Okay, calm self. I can't do it yet. 男人是你不用管了。什么叫做男人的事？你算什么男人啊 ？Calm self, calm self. 你整天窝在家里，好手好脚，不出去工作，写那么多。Read in and out. 就赚那几个钱。拜托你现实一点好不好？你那种剧本现在已经没有人想。I'm trying to read what they're saying. It's going so fast. 我现在不想听。Hopefully you guys are keeping up too. I mean, I wish I could read the subtitles for you, but they're going way too fast. You guys know I read slow as shit. Oh, she loves living that flashy lifestyle, huh? Oh, calm self, calm self. I was like too deep into reading it, so I stopped commenting myself. Stop slapping these marbles. Grab it. Yo, is anybody gonna check on the daughter? She already had like a health problem. She had like a breathing problem, right? Something with her lungs. Holy crap. Bro, this is intense. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we got to go to the other room, right? What are these drawings? Okay. Let's see what we got over here. This is the wifey's room. This is the Bay Bay. A popular vinyl record player from back in the day. It's a pity I lost the record. Can't even see myself. I wonder if that has like any significance. Am I dead too? I probably am. Wifey's. Whew. No wonder I wifed her up. Didn't want anyone else to do it. You feel me? Okay, there was a dress out in the living room. Can I go in here too? Locked. Yeah, there was a dress here that wasn't there before. Right there. Tattered Ki Pao dress. Li Fang's famous red Ki Pao dress from when she was popular. It's been sliced and torn. The ghost was wearing this dress. So, do we just leave? Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, I need an item from every single place. Oh, shit. You ain't real. She gonna do something. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Crap. What is this? There used to be an article here, but it's been torn off. Lovers quarrel inside Du Feng Yu and Gong Li Feng's rocky relationship, personal lives clash, each cited at multiple events alone. Okay. Yeah, we know that their marriage was all messed up. We know that. There used to be like a bloody bathtub here too. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, I can't see shit. But I have a lighter. How do I use that lighter again? How do I use the lighter? There you go. Okay. Whew. If I didn't know how to use the lighter, I would have been very spooked. Very, very spooky. Alishin travel guide. What's that say? Mei Shin's been sulking in her room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Could you go and read Mei Shin her favorite storybook? What's this? Oh, dude, that is scary as shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure this lady's beautiful, but that picture just looks scary as fuck. Okay, let's light everything up. 
It is way too freaking spooky. That fish, man. That's my only homie in this game. You're the real one. You're the real homie. What's that? Drawing by Mation based on my wine poem. Shoes, a crown, and a red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. I'm pretty sure those are the items that we need. Because we have a red dress, I think we're going to need the shoes and a crown. Okay. So let's look out for that. Poem attached to wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you, sweet and ripe. Brewing in the pot, mother's three blessings. Wishing your silhouette embraced by silk. Wishing your hair illuminated by stars. Wishing your steps admired by all. As I await patiently, let time mold you into a lustrous jewel. Okay. Oh, what does that mean? X's on the windows? Yo, all my X's live in Texas. Okay, I think I gotta light all the candles. And then I'm gonna get something cool. Can I play that one note that I saw in the picture? Nah, I can't do shit, guys. Her door's locked. Oh! What? Oh, God. Oh, dear. Freaking dolly. Freaking doll! Ceramic doll. Nah, that bitch is alive. That bitch is alive! There are three people in my life. My father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late and I can't bother him while he works or my mother will scold me. Although I am sick and can't go to school often, mom and dad always take care of me at home. My mom says if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. I love my mommy and daddy. I wish for us to have a healthy and loving life. The ceramic doll, I can still click on that. Okay, let me see what else we got here. We got a picture of Dume Shin. There's some stuff over there. I know the incense has to do with, like, prayer, so... So they probably lit that up every night because she was sick and then... Oh, my God. I don't even want to think about it. But this says... I don't know what that says. Oh, my freaking goodness! Mm, she over there? Yep, she's gone. That legit gave me chills. Come on, bro. I did not expect that. Can't go in there. I'm on edge now. You know how I said we're going to focus on the story and we're not going to get scared? Yeah, screw that. Now we are going to read this in a very high scared voice. Tale of Sigu Ganyin, The Sacrifice. However, nothing good lasts forever. One year, the novice monk suddenly fell victim to an illness. It ravaged his body and soul. He could not eat for days. His health declined rapidly, but the village doctors were stumped. The farmer could do nothing but worry endlessly. At this time, the snake abruptly appeared and said to the farmer, I am a spirit serpent, a thousand years of age. Since your child's birth, I have witnessed his resolve, his great sense of duty, and filial piety? I have no idea what the hell that means. His virtuousness outshines even my own. Let me help him through his troublesome bout. Heed my instructions. My flesh and blood, brewed into a medicinal wine, shall remedy his condition instantly. The great spirit serpent delivers a fatal bite onto himself, offering his body to the ever-grateful farmer. Sigu Guanyin, Legend 16. Okay. Legend 16. I just don't want that doll to be, like, popping up again, doing that little floaty shit. I'm not down with the floaty shits. You better not be out here. I swear. Okay, she's not out here. I hear... Okay, I heard that drip. I thought that drip was too hard. Is that doll still in here? Okay, no doll. No doll, no doll. Oh, the lights. The lights. Lock suitcase. Wait. Uh, I don't have an item. I need an item to get out of here. Crown, dress, and some other thing, right? Okay, hold up. Let's do this. Man, I look, I look like Slender Man. I gotta be his cousin or some shit. Uh, what's going on here? Is that smoke? Yo, that's some smoke in here. What the heck? No, it's the incense. I smell it. Oh, yeah, that's the good shit. I see, like, some smoke in here. I'm not tripping, right? Okay, no more ghosts there. Wait, maybe there's something in here, though, that I need to get. No. What am I missing, guys? Tell me. Can I leave? I can leave, but I don't think I have everything. Lock suitcase. It says liar. I heard that shit. I mean, I saw that shit. I didn't hear it. It says liar. Who's a liar? Can't trust daddy. Girl, I ain't your daddy. I'm your stepdad. I ain't your real dad. Hold up. We got to figure out what item we're missing, guys. What the hell was that? Oh, do 
do there's something here I don't No. There's nothing here. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Guys, I'm freaking the hell out right now. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't even notice that doll! Guys, I got chills, bro. I got chills, bro. School Correspondence Journal. Thursday, June 13, 1985. I got chills, man! It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors, but I am still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal because my classmates do too. Friday, June 14, 1985. Today, I have to feed daddy's arowana fish. It might be sad being stuck in its fish tank, but just like me in my house. Okay, the doll's gonna do something. Oh. What? Are we in a fish tank? Button labeled, take pills. Uh-oh. What the heck? Okay, button label, alarm clock. Button label, do me shin. Okay. Oh, God. Fishy, let me tell you, daddy lied to me again. He said we'd be going on a trip. Then changed his mind and said we couldn't. I was busy! Button labeled door. I know I'm not sick anymore. He promised to take me to Alishan today. Yo, this is creative as hell. This is dope, but it's so scary. Button labeled television. Yeah, watch the televisor. Come on, Dolly. Do me shin. Okay, come on. Over this way. Come on. Keep it moving. Disease prevention is a civic duty the Department of Health caring for the public. Plus, I'm taking Dad's wallet and Mom's hat so they can't use them anymore. Not the hat! Button label luggage. Oh, so she was trying to take our shit? Okay, I see you, you little thief. Can't trust Daddy. Can't trust Do me shin. What do we got over here? Bun label window? Girl, you ain't leaving through no window. That doll, man. I'll do anything that doll says. If I saw that doll in a dark alleyway, you can do whatever you want. Bun label do my shin. Come on. I hid the key in the marble box. It's in my secret hideout, okay? Don't tell mom and dad. But I am your dad. Oh, man. I feel like something's about to jump out. Come on, do it. Did you grab anything? Okay. What's that? How come I can't press any button? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Button label, take pills. Mei Shin's still having trouble breathing. She's being a little stubborn, too. Won't eat the vitamins your mother's giving her. Well, at least she finished what the doctor prescribed. Where's that noise? Oh my goodness. There is like something with some hot breath just breathing right now. I'm just trying to take this all in right now, guys. Ew. Marble, fish eye. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, get my lighter going again. Because I am very scared of the dark. I really am, guys. I don't play. Where's that secret key in the hideout? Can I open this? Lock suitcase. De loca. All right, we out of here, I think. So we have a red dress. We have the eye. And we need one more thing. Is there still a lady here? Lady? Baby? Baby? Okay, nobody's here. Wait, which one was it? I think that it's this one. Yeah, it's got to be this one. Because I don't remember that. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, this is it. Okay, one more door to go. Oh, a normal house. But there's a lot of chairs here. Did somebody have a party didn't tell me? Oh, the kettle. 
Hold on, I gotta see this cookie gift box. Traditional cookie box with a fortuitous design. Yeah, that's pretty fortuitous, if I do say so myself. Yeah, move out the way. Move out the way, you minions. I'm coming, I'm coming! Come, you big double D tits! Can't turn it off? Oh, okay, there you go. Wife's note and to-do list. The Jade Emperor Deity assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and a wife demigod couple, to watch over a family's home. Before moving in, a welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m. Buy at the market. Fish, chicken, pork belly, sweet rice balls, radish, soda, rice cake, red envelopes, incense, spirit money, liquor, rice wine, apples, pineapple, 7 a.m. Preparation. Clean, spray yin-yang water, attach red paper to furniture, spread coins in room corners put tokens in water jugs set up mahjong prepare oolong tea for aunt white tea for uncle herbal tea for grandma make sweet rice balls for guests buy all new cooking essentials must be finished by the afternoon damn oh are people having a party wait what's that say Various prayer offerings and items laid out for a household guardian ceremony. Wait. Can we see guests here? I hear some shit. Yo, I'm not trying to play the world's most haunted musical chairs right now. Bro, what is this? A table set up with mahjong tiles. Essential entertainment for family and friends. I've actually never played Mahjong. There's a lot of people here. This is definitely an Asian party. Damn, this guy got the off-whites? Oh, no, that ain't a Nike check. Those are some fikies. That ain't the real thing. Okay, I already saw that. Nothing on TV. Okay. I like that, though. That it felt like there was a party going on. I'll fuck with that. There better not be nothing here. Okay. That's locked. Who's over here? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm already preparing myself. Okay. What's this? Letter from wife's friend. To Li Fang. Are you doing well? I was glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business were saddened to hear of your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember when we were younger, us showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together? But after you started a family, reality cut that dream short. As your good friend, I understand your predicament, and I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must be merely a temporal fix to a deeper problem. Please remember that we will always support you no matter what you do. You are welcome to come back to us anytime, and we wish you and your family peace and prosperity. That is so sweet. That is so awesome. Final record. The what? The title track of the album is Lady of the Pier. It's the theme song for Lee Fang's breakout movie. Oh God, glory hole. Who the hell? Make noise? Oh, just do that. Dad, look, there's a hole here. Dad! Daddy! Daddy, look at me! Dad, look at me! Dad! Look at me being an annoying little shit! Look at me, Dad! I want to see your face! Come on! In all the pictures, everything's all blurred out! Let me see that ugly face! Turn over here into this glory hole! Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy! Mei Xin, don't bother Daddy. Whoa! Okay. We are definitely not going to disturb Daddy again. Yikes. Holy crap, dude. What's this? This is my secret hideout. The password's on my favorite picture. Password's on my favorite picture. What the hell? Favorite picture? I don't know what the hell that is. Favorite picture. You guys notice how I'm like going really slow turning these corners? Because I ain't trying to see nothing right now. My favorite picture. Sure! Oh my god. 
Flower pot note. You've turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. Okay. Where's your favorite picture? Flower pot. Um. Holy crap. Look at all this, guys. Is this written in blood? Sheesh. My favorite picture, huh? Is it this? Tale of Sugu Ganyin, Spirit Serpent. According to legend, it happened in a small village in southern Fujian. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was too frail to work in the fields. Instead, he was sent to a Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally journeyed home to assist his father and tend to their crops. One day while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly, but soon came to understand that it bore them no malice. It would drive away pests like insects and mice, guaranteeing the farmer good harvest for many successive years. Okay, do these numbers mean anything at all, like the 15 and 16? Probably not. Okay. Favorite picture. Do I gotta go back to the other doors? Camera stand. Oh, uh, camera. I have a camera. Right? Where is it? There you go, camera. I forgot that we could use items for a second. Because I was like, shit, do I gotta go back and get the camera? Mission, look up in front. Song title, Home Sweet Home. I remember that game. That game was scary as hell. Play piano. That's the picture that he took of us, the blurred one. But why was it so blurry? He had like all of his focus on us, right? Why was the photo blurred? Damn, she's like the best one finger piano player in the world. Who? Happy birthday, Dad! I'm sure this photo will bring back good memories someday. Okay, you know what? I think that we gotta leave. Because maybe I gotta go back to her other room. And then I gotta find some numbers on a picture. Because I don't think that I'm gonna find it here, but now it's dark. It's so dark. It's darker than that glory hole we looked into. Mom, it's me. Can I come home next week and what? <gasps> what the hell is this? Hold on a minute, I think he's listening. Marriage is a process of growth and learning. Disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I have also walked this path. Life can be messy, relationships erratic, but with old age you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, however, word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt you know how damaging gossip can be. Your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash decision and think of her well-being. I know he can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. Let bedroom quarrels stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken care of civilly out of sight. Take care of yourself, mom. Whoa! Yeah, I was calling my mother-in-law a hoe. What you gonna do about it? I was like, ho! Am I supposed to be here? This is the place with the dress, right? Yeah, uh, but I need to find if there's a picture. <gasps> the fuck is that noise? Oh, fuck! I think that's for calling her mother a hoe. I think I deserve that. So, uh, what we're gonna do we are going to find her favorite picture! Son of a bitch! Why did you have to jump scare me like that? Get out of here with that dog shit! That makes me so angry. Uh, favorite picture, where are you? Do I even have her favorite picture? Maybe I do. I have the vinyl record that I can play. Oh my god, I hate that so much. 
I hate that so freaking much, dude. Suck a wiener. Suck a my she pang or something, dude. I hate that so much. Okay, the vinyl thing's here. Goodness. So let's take out the vinyl. Put it over here. And then we're gonna shake our hips. What do you say? This better not be copyrighted. I will haunt you in your dreams. Yikes. This is a yikes. Um, is that a favorite picture? Oh my goodness, there's a girl here! This game is so freaking creepy. Li Fang's crown, reduced to Mei Shin's plaything. Okay, I'll take that. Look at the eyes. Look at the freaking eyes, bro. Man. Oh, the eyes all over the place. Can we stop this? This is some demonic shit, man. This is some curse shit. Okay. I'm gonna be brave, guys, for you. I'm gonna be brave for you, I promise. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not even looking at anything anymore. No eyeballs. Don't look at me. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. See you later. I already got the crown. I got the dress. I got the crown. And I need one more thing, but it's so dark. Who's over here? This is cool. What is that? God, man. I'm loving this game. I'm freaked out, but I am loving this game so much. Oh, God. No, 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 no. no. I hear something, I hear something, I hear something. Don't. I'm out of here. Come on, bye-bye. Dude, that was right in my ears. <sighs> I feel like I want to stop playing this game. For real, though. Wait, this ain't it. This ain't it. I got to go back outside. This is where I came from. I got to go to the other door. Oh, fuck. All right. We're getting out of here. God, fuck. <laughs> Fuck. What was that noise that I heard? I don't know what I heard. I don't know what I heard. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did to upset you. I'm just trying to please you. Please you and tease you. Okay. I was trying to tease him with my fat ass, you know? My plump peach booty. But I'm upsetting the ghost or something. Oh, man. Fuck. Okay. Let's see here. Yep, that was definitely not there before. So every time you go into a room, some shit happens. Wait. Wasn't I just here? Saturday, June 15th, 1985. It's the weekend. Dad said that if I took my medicine, he would take me out to play, but he was lying again. I really took my medicine. I was good today, but mom and dad still lied to me. Sunday, June 16th, 1985. My dad bought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me feel better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I don't want any vitamins. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play. Oh, my God. Oh, no. The daughter's getting really mad, and I just heard something. Oh, I heard something real bad. There you are. May, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You don't have to take any vitamins, okay? Okay? You want to play piano? No? Okay, she's shaking her head no. I'm getting out of here then. I can't find, like, a photo. I gotta click on every single photo that we have. And then hopefully it works. Does it change every single time? I don't think it changes every single time. Well, yes it does. Because I don't remember this thing. What? There's something here. On the issue of my child Dume Shin's frequent non-attendance, I reiterate that my intentions are not to disrupt the school trip arrangements. As her contest date nears, we've had to step up the amount of training she is receiving. I've no doubt you've witnessed her exceptional talent and charm on TV. These attributes must be properly cultivated and developed. Every single minute of training is crucial to her growth. Her health and mental well-being is also of great importance. The cold front comes in along the shore around this time of year. 
Mei Shin is prone to illness and we will not risk any setbacks to her competitive readiness. I'm positive you wouldn't want to see that happen. Thus, just as before, I will have to withdraw her attendance from this trip. Rest assured, I will arrange separate educational outing at another time. I am confident there are comparable trips we can go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please be understanding and considerate of Mei Shin's particular needs. Oh! Come Blossom, come Blossom, when will you bloom? Oh, close your eyes if you guys get sick like this from seeing all this stuff. Okay, bro, we get it! Oh, crap. That was it? Plum Blossom, Plum Blossom, when will you bloom? To Mr. Du Feng Yu, your screenplay, The Lives I've Lived, has been rejected by six directors? God damn! May I suggest you drop that fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming up with a new script? If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. How are you gonna insult the man and then beg for his forgiveness? This guy is a pure fuckboy. Wishing you the very best, your friend, D. Hein Day. A D. Hein Day, you a fuckboy. For real, for real. Like, you a straight out fucky wucky. I'm sure this photo will bring back good memories someday. What photo? What photo? Wait. I see a camera, but I don't see a photo. It's the one of, like, the picture you took, right? Oh, it's right here. For my birthday that year, Mei Shin played Home Sweet Home. The date at the bottom reads 0716. That's gotta be it. 0716? The photo wasn't even blurred anymore, either. So I had to take that picture first and then come back here. And then it was a clear picture again. Because before, I couldn't even make out the picture. Okay, that's gotta be it, guys. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be 0716. If it's not, then I have no idea. Okay, this is it right here. So 0716. Please be it. Uh, 0, 7, 1. No, that's a, that's a 9. 1, 6. Got it. Let's freaking go, man. Come on. Narnia? Oh, I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby machine. Oh, I'm just a little baby. I'm a little baby. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, man. You're trying to hit the little baby? You guys gotta be more sensitive than that. Come on, everybody chill out. March 24, clear skies. I've chosen the big wardrobe as my secret hideout. Every time we have guests over, Mom and Dad will ask me to greet them. It's such a drag having to speak to the guests, though. I don't like being asked so many questions. I never know what to say. So I always go and hide until they leave. So I think that we keep flipping from the perspective of the kid, Mei Shin, and the dad. That's pretty cool, because usually you only play as one perspective when you play a game. But we keep flip-flopping from the dad and the mom. I mean, the dad and the kid. But what happened to the mom, though? Like, why is the mom so freaking evil? If I'm in the wardrobe, I can sing very quietly. No one can hear me anyway, so I sing how I want. I think I'm better in here than up on stage. It'd be nice if the contest was held here instead. Then I wouldn't get nervous like on stage. And there wouldn't be anyone in the audience glaring at me. Du Mei Shin, why won't you sing? Her heart was beating super fast. Maybe she has anxiety. You know, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with some performance anxiety. Everybody has that. Chill out, right? Script, birthday grab, scene seven, mountain path, exterior, hearing news of the child's first birthday. Distant friends and relatives come to celebrate. Relative A, when you mature, you'll definitely be accomplished. Relative B, you can become an imperial official. Relative C, or you can be a merchant. Relative D, 
being a doctor is good. Relative E, how about a general? Relative F, you will be prosperous. Relative G, gain notoriety. Relative H, acquire prestige. They all take turns to touch the child's head as a blessing of luck, as a token of safety. Carve relief fragment three. Metal relief fragment, there's a girl carved on it. Okay. There's gonna be some spooky shit, right? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't want to find out. We getting the hell out of here, boys. Bye-bye. I got all three fragments. I have the dress, the shoes, and the crown. Let me in, let me in on the hairs of my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Something used to fit here, but I can't remember what. This. What? The pieces... What? What'd you say? Use it. The pieces are incomplete and cannot be placed. Why, dude? Wait, can I put stuff in here? Hold up. I can put the shoes in there. Okay, uh, open inventory. How about the crown? Can I use that? I can put that. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? How about the eyeball? No, the key pow. Key pow, pow! Looking forward to the day when I can open it. What? Oh, wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. So we are in the room that's marked 1985. So let's go over to the door that says 1986. And then there should be something inside that pot. Because there always is. Yeah, guys. Every room has like a year. Like right here. 1985. This one, 1986. I look forward to the day when I can open it. So it's got to be in. Holy crap. Yep. Yep. Oh, why is there blood? Is that blood? Is that blood or a crack floor? Either way, we're going in here. I don't know why there's even blood. Oh, shit! Is that the snake in the stories? The striped snake? That's sad. I'm trying to read what's going on, guys. What the heck? Wait. So, hold on. I'm trying to figure out, like, she said the dad takes her to mentor Hugh to pray every time she's, like, sick or, you know, can't breathe or doesn't feel good. So, he's been, like, taking her and, like, he's trying to make her get well, like, on her own. Not using doctors, you know, none of that. He's trying to use, like... Prayer and like herbs and just like all these things that he can do to make her feel better. I think wife Sweetheart you are our treasure. You must realize mother and father have staked our future on you when we are old and can no longer walk You will be there to provide for us, right? Child says understood mother close-up view of the wife's ornamental crest silk garb and glided shoes The wife says promise mother that you'll achieve renown and these valuable items will be yours child says thank you mother I promise I will not take your wish lightly when I grow up I will give back what is due and more. You will live a life full of abundance. The wife is very pleased. She believed the struggle and effort poured into the past years will be worth it in the end. And then we got the fragment. Dude. This game. This story's kind of messed up.
龙门挑战者所得到的分数是八十四、八十五、八十六、八十七、八十八、八十八，再来八十八，再来八十八，八十八，八十八，还有没有再来一分？八十八，八十八，八十八，八十八，再来一分？Oh, so are we never gonna know? Yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna know what score she really got. Yeah. Okay. So we have two fragments. We need one more, I think. Because we have one and we have three. I think I did this out of order. Oh my god. What the hell's going on here? Oh! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it's one of these bald things. Hold on. Oh, uh, I gotta put the marble thing. This. Did I do it? Okay. Oh, that doll better not do anything to me. I swear. Okay, let's go this way. She's gonna grab me or something last second, watch. Do me shin. Don't you touch me, girl. Come on. Almost there. Yeah! Got it! What is that? Suitcase key. Suitcase key hidden by Mei Shin. Okay, please don't do anything to me. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't scare me. Okay. That is so creepy, man. Can't go out there. I don't like the way that doll looks. It's just so disturbing. There we go. Okay. So, light this up. And then, keys. Use it. Storybook. The back cover is signed Dume Shin. Hold on. Storybook. This can't be used here. Where can I use this at? Hold on. Back cover signed Dume Shin? Mei Shin always requests that I read this to her at bedtime. Okay. Right here? Oh, God, the doll's back. Jeez, dude. Use. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> this game is great. It always keeps me on edge. Okay, so that's the dad in Dume Shin. Shoo shoo shoo! Baba lay da liela. Shoo shoo shoo! Father's on the hunt. A gigantic mountain boar appears in the forest. Father's precise arrow strikes the boar's leg. The, gi the, the gigantic boar is furious. It rushes over and knocks father to the ground. I'll narrate this for you guys. I got you. When they return home, the daughter Shasha carefully tends to her father. But father is in constant pain. She gives him herbs to apply and elixirs to drink, but nothing works. Bedridden for days and nights, father's illness does not get any better. Shasha is very sad. She's unable to sleep. She decides to embark on a journey to find a cure. This is so well done so far. This book? Shasha crosses peaks and valleys to reach the temple of the fertile goddess. The temple of the fertile goddess is a grand golden place. It rests in the middle of the forest with its entrance wide open. Any resident of the forest is a welcome guest. Shasha pleads, please will you cure my father's illness? The fertile goddess answers, This here is an extraordinary flower. When it blooms, any illness, however severe, will be fully cured. The fertile goddess hands Shasha a magical seed. But you must fertilize this magical seed with the most precious thing in the land, says the fertile goddess. Shasha thinks to herself, Father used to tell me, the most precious spirit water is located on top of the sky tree. Stepping out of the temple, Shasha sets off on her new given quest. She comes upon a small grove and pushes deep into the woods. Oh, okay. Oh, so we actually have to jump and move. Yo, that's dope! Okay, so now this is the gameplay. 
This is like Detention, the game that they made before this. Okay, I don't think I can read and commentate at the same time, guys. Or I don't think I can read and translate at the same time while I'm playing. So you guys are going to have to translate that for yourself. The chubby bear is awfully hungry. Okay, throw it. Throw it! I pressed E. Oh, there you go. Man, if I was a bear, I'd rather eat some meat than some apples. You got me fucked up. Okay, we out of here. The water's too deep. How is she going to cross the river? Use the bear? Climb on his back? Yo, I got hops though, so maybe I could like jump across? Alright, let's see what the bear does if I go here. Here, get the apple, get the apple. Yeah! Whoosh! Shasha tosses the apple to the opposite bank. Are you kidding me? The chubby bear is much too hungry. It rushes toward... <laughs> it gets stuck and forms a bridge for her to cross. Shasha seizes her chance and dashes over the boat. I mean the bear. <laughs> It'll never come out if it just leaves there. You're right. What should she do? I know. Shasha finds some soapy water. She blows a big bubble that picks the bear up and lifts it out safely. Aww. She wanted to save the bear. I like Dume Shin now. I mean, I always liked her already, but I like her a lot more now. <laughs> she loves the animals. She loves the bears. Who doesn't love the bears? I love the bears. The Chicago bears. Oh no, there are two deer fighting in the woods. The fighting is fierce. Shasha is very frightened. Is there any way she can get past? Uh, just jump. Jump on the mushrooms. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna make these bitches fetch. That's their cousin's antlers, too. That's kind of fucked up in a way, right? No, don't back up. Don't back up. No, use the bone thing. Stick it up his ass. Oh, there's another one right there. I didn't even see that. I legit did not even see that right there. Give me that. Now we can go. All right, you ready for me, you sons of bitches? Shasha holds the tree branches over her head. Now she looks like a deer. She sneaks past them easily. Ah, I see you, Shasha. You a smart one, ain't you, Shasha? Okay. I mean, you could have just went around as they were fighting, but, you know, I like being a little extra sometimes, too. Hey... What are they arguing about anyway? I don't know. What do you think? I know. They must have bumped into each other. They probably can't see very well. If they had some glasses, seeing wouldn't be a problem. That's very likely. Why don't you give them each a pair? Now they can be good friends. Yeah, Harry Potter looking ass. Okay. I like that she's saving the animals. She cares. She wants everybody to have a happy ending. Which sucks because she's so sick, too. Which makes it even worse. Now I feel bad. Is this where I get the stuff for Papa? Wait. Oh, I gotta climb that. The sagely owl guards the pool of spirit water on top of the sky tree. Shasha climbs and climbs hand over hand. She finally reaches the top of the tallest tree. There's the owl. Hello, you sagey owl. No, that's not an owl. That's a big-ass caterpillar or something. Big old bitch. That's an owl. If you can feed my newborn baby, I will let you take a drop of spirit water home, says the sagely owl. How will she feed the baby bird? Oh, I'm going to get that thing that's over here. Oh, she's not going to eat an acorn. She is not going to eat this acorn. Yup, see? They're already mad. They're extra picky. I know what they want. They want this little guy right here. See, we just gotta plug that hole. And then we just gotta pull this guy. Right? I'm so sorry, man. You gotta be a sacrifice. I know, I know. I wouldn't want to be either. He's a cute little guy. But well, we gotta sacrifice him. I'm so sorry. Shasha uses a clever trick. And helps capture the caterpillar for the sagely owl. The sagely owl is satisfied. It kindly lets the girl pass through. Aw, they're going to eat the poor bug? Of course, baby birds need to eat to grow up. Can they have some chocolate instead? It tastes so much better. 
I'm gonna give the birds some of my chocolate. <laughs> That's awesome. But then, wait, I let the bug fall to its death. It died anyway! Oh no, it looks like the spirit water dried up long ago. Without the precious water, the flower won't be able to bloom. No, you dead then. Father cannot bear to see Shasha cry. He calls her to his bedside and tells her... Is she holding his own shit? It's fine, it's nothing. Daddy is just very sleepy. As long as you're alright, Daddy has nothing to be afraid of. The little girl weeps with sorrow. Her tears drip down onto the dirt. Suddenly, shoots begin to sprout from the dirt. From the shoots come leaves. From the leaves sprout a flower bud. The flower bud then blossoms into a beautiful tulip. Father realizes his daughter is the most precious thing in the land. Father's been cured! To thank the fertile goddess, father and daughter plant the tulip in their field. Thousands of tulips blossom along the hillside. The fertile goddess is pleased. From then on, Shasha and her father look up after the sea of tulips. Together they live happily ever after. That's a great story. Pick up origami tulip. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh my god, the lag. There was a flower pot. I gotta go to that one. What year was that? I think it was like 1980. Okay, I think this is the room, right? Yep, right there. Flower pot right over here. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. I hope it blossoms beautifully in the future. It will. Because we are about to jump into 1985. 1985. Here we come to 1985. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think 1985 wants me with that voice. There we go. Okay. So we planted the flowers, and this is so cool. I love how this game is doing this. Like, jumping around with the years. That's amazing. I love this game so much already. October 9th, typhoon weather. I'm still feeling sick today. It was going to be another awful day of lying in bed. But then something great happened. Daddy gave me a gift. It was a storybook. As I lay in bed, he read each page aloud to me. I drew on some pages too, made parts of the story sillier. Dad also taught me how to fold flowers like in the book. When we ran out of colored paper, there's so many things going on at once, I can't even read this, guys. I'm just going to let you guys read. <laughs> it's going way too fast for me. Oh, this is beautiful. The last fragment. Close up. In the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at his writing desk. Husband, monologue. Oh, I can't think of anything. Am I reaching the limits of my creativity? Close up. Outside the room... The child sits on the floor fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices that it's one of his rejected scripts. Husband, angry. Hey, put that down this instant. The husband rushes forward, grabs the paper, and finds it has been folded into a flower. The child says, Father, look, I made a tulip for you. With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. These papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of his child. And now we got the carve relief fragment too. That's it. Oh, and we're back inside. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's get out of here. So now we have all three fragments. So it's time, guys. But I think with that, I am going to end this episode here. 
If you guys want to see what's inside that fourth door since we have all three fragments, make sure that you let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below and the story so far. But also, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>